Hello everybody! My name is Yeva and I live in Russia and I study cultural differences. In this episode we are going to talk about... Yeah. Actually guys, in this video I want to share with you tea ceremony in Russia. Well, here I don't mean just oh what to do, like what steps we have to take to make tea, you know. Although it's also important, but no. Today I want to focus on how tea, like the whole procedure, is important for us Russians in our culture, why we do it all the time and what like um, what it means. So, uh, to be honest, Russians are a bit reserved, especially if you uh, ask him to come and visit you. Uh, he probably will just sit quietly and talk to you. That's all we usually do. Uh, to connect everybody, to make us closer and uh, to create this atmosphere of something important. ask you to come at the table and to pour you a full cup of tea it should be scorching tea yeah <laughs> many russians do love very hot tea not everybody but i'm Even if you're not thirsty at the moment, even if you um, had a lot of food at your home and you just visit your friend, do not reject and refuse this proposal. Always go sit at his table with him. That's how you show, first of all, respect to your friend. Second, you can get a cup of tea for free. <laughs> I'm just kidding now. So that's how we people communicate and like the table and food and tea especially bound us together. That we are sitting at one space, we are sitting uh, looking at each other, and I don't know why, but it feels like there is special magic in food and tea. Every time you share your food with someone, you become closer to the person. Um, every time I come to somebody's house and visit him, or I ask a guest, I always know that I have to prepare something. At least it should be tea and some dessert. Today I have got a visitor, my friend. We haven't met for a while and I have prepared a special table where we are going to drink tea together. Yeah. 
if you are asked by your Russian friend to come and visit him, don't forget that you will definitely have a cup of tea, so it's better to bring uh, some dessert with you. That's what people expect to be usually. That's kind of uh, um, habit, yes. <laughs> if I count how many cups of tea I drink a day, I think it's also connected with the place where I live. I live in Ural, in Yekaterinburg, and well, weather is not really nice all the time. I would say it's just nice only a few months in, during the year. And other time we just have to get ourselves warm somehow. And so tea also acts like a warmer. So. Thanks for being with me in this tea ceremony session and do it again!